Welcome back. So now that we know that we're getting into the request, we of course also need to use our service to actually update our customer, right? Let's just try and do that. So um, let me just try and see if the customer service has some kind of update. And luckily it does. Has update customer right there and I'll pass in the customer. Now, I don't have to do anything else if the service actually works. So let's just try and run the system and see if we're actually ending up updating our customer. Now, I just made a mistake there. I actually want to run in debug here. So let me just do that instead. So the program is running, let's try and jump into Postman. And again, just to make it completely clear right here, let's just start out by getting all my customers to kind of see what customers I have available. I'll grab Bob right here and I want to rename him into Bill instead of Bob. So I'll do a put right here and I'll go into the customer again. And instead of Bob, I'm going to call this guy Bill now. And then I have to remember to put the ID up here, right? So that I know that it's customer of ID one. I'll do the send. Hopefully I hit my back end and I get an OK back. So let's try and do a get again to see if it actually updated as expected. I don't need, so notice I get value back. That's because we didn't add that one yet. So we're just getting the basic information. Notice now he's actually called Bill instead of Bob. Seemed to be working. So now let's try and go back to the put again and just to do it once more in the put request. I'm going to change the last name to Ifku, Bill Ifku, there we go. And again, I'll send this with the ID and I'll do a send. And there we go, get something back, everything looks fine. Do the get request, remove the ID because I wouldn't want to get a single one right here. Uh, I want to get all, now it's Bill Ifku. So it seems that, that that's running and we can now update our customer. What if we add two values? Let's just try that. Now again, it shouldn't make any difference at all, but well, I'll still do it anyway. Just just for the fun of it. So let's just call him Bob again. Bob, um, Billco, Bingo Street, 101. There we go. Now I've changed all fields. I'll do a send. I just again get a status back. Now notice it's kind of annoying just to get a status back, not getting information, update went successfully, or something like that. It, it, okay, I expect that it happened, but maybe it would be helpful just to get actually get Bob back. So we'll fix that in a second. But let's just try and get everybody again. There we go, now we have Bob Bilko, Bingo Street, right? Now, if you guys wanna see, I'll just add a breakpoint because I can just show you guys step-by-step step how the update actually works right now. So let's just try once more to go and update our good friend, Bob right here. And let's just change him into Bill again. I'll do the send and I'll hit my breakpoint. Step one, I sent the customer the ID, right? So the customer has all the information needed to kind of update, right? Now it's Bill again. And we just make the validation that we are actually containing the right customer inside this body. Sweet. Then we go into our update function in the customer service and we build that earlier. So there's actually no reason to dive into it, but I'll do it anyway. We step in here and we find the specific customer. So we have the customer available now and then we change everything. And right now, since this is the local database setup we have, we don't have an SQL database, we can just do it like this. It's a very simple way to update a customer inside a in-memory list like we're doing right now. But this will change we start working with SQL later, but it's okay for now. So I just find the customer, set all his values. You'll notice right here. So let's just step over once and you'll see the customer is actually found. There we go. That's the customer. And right now his first name is Bob because I haven't changed it yet, but the customer to update that comes from the outside he has the first name of Bill, right? Let's do a step over. Now his first name should be changed now to Bill. Yay! Step over, step over, and in the end I return the customer, right? So let's just continue. So that's how it works. So now we are actually getting a customer updated in the system. The last thing I wanna do is we jump back to the controller right here. So if I wanna get information back, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to take this guy right here and I'm going to just paste him into the OK. So now he'll actually return the updated customer back to me. So let's just try and uh, and rerun this to kind of show you guys. I'm not going to do it in debug mode this time. I'm just going to show you that you actually get back the updated customer right now. So again, notice how I split up everything so that I know that um, the request works. And when I know the request works, I just add the customer service because that's the second step, right? Then I know if that works, um, if that doesn't work, I know it's the it's the actual customer service that does something wrong or maybe the repository. So let's try and do this again. Let's try and just update Bill. He's been reset to Bob, so I can just change him into Smurfy Boy. That's the final thing right here. And do a send. And instead of getting um, nothing back, I actually get back that he's been updated now and just to prove it, 
I'm just going to do a get right here and send and I get Smurfy Boy back. That's it for this lesson. See you next time. Have fun.